Hello everyone, Dennis here at the Federation Shipyard coming to you with another update with the Polar Lights 1350 scale USS Enterprise refit. Um, today what we we'll are working on is going to be the um, impulse deck here on the impulse engines. What I'm going to do is uh, build the support that goes on the inside under here inside to uh, hold the LEDs that'll be red for the impulse engines and I'm going to be working on this right here which is actually the impulse itself. I've got it uh, taped off. I'll be uh, putting some adhesion promoter on it and uh, light blocking it and getting it painted the same color as the hull. And then we'll put the photo etch parts in and we'll, actually what I'm going to do for the lenses here I'm going to take and tint these a uh, dark color so that way when the lights are off you ain't going to be able to see in there at all. Um, yeah, you won't be able to see in there at all at all. And uh, when the lights are on, you'll be able to see them just perfect, hopefully perfectly. So uh, I'm going to get started, and when I get it light blocked and everything, I'll come back and show it to you. Until then, just hang on. Okay, everyone. Um, I'm back, and I've got it all uh, light blocked and uh, painted white now. Um, had a little scare there for a little bit. Uh, for some reason, the paint on the on the tape started blistering, and I thought it was going to blister on the rest of the piece here, but it didn't. I was kind of worried about that for a, for a little bit. But I do have it all light blocked. I tested it by using this bright light I have here. And I usually just go underneath it like this to check to make sure there's no light leaks anywhere to the sides or anything, and it checks out good. So now what I'm going to do is uh, take the, the um, tape off and see what it turned out. I can do that right here on camera. A little bit to get a hold of this tape is pretty good. It's pretty good. There you go. That one. So it looks like so far from the front. Now we'll take the tape off the back. And last piece. sliver of tape on there yet. There we go. That turned out pretty good. You can actually see through it and everything now. Like I said before, what I'm going to do now is uh, I've got some uh, smoke window tint. It's like a little sheet I'm going to cut pieces up and put on there and mount it so that way you can't see them and the lights are off. But right now, I think what I'm going to do is work on the mounting for the LEDs. It's going to go inside the, inside the top part of the saucer section. So when I start building that, I'll come back and show you what I'm doing on that. So I'll do it for now and be back in just a few minutes. A few seconds for you. All right, everyone, back with uh, parts to the uh, impulse engine, uh, the box that's going to be put in on the inside. Um, here I've got the one piece cut out, and I have the holes drilled inside for it, uh, for the put the 5 millimeter um, red LEDs in. I'm just going to test them now to make sure they really fit through, get the holes big enough. 
fit them nice. And one snug, but it fits. All right, what I'm going to do next is uh, use some CA glue with some uh, zip kicker. Get these fastened in, then I'll solder up uh, um, my resistors to them, the 470 quarter, one quarter watt uh, ohm resistors, so that way I don't burn out the bulbs. And I'll get the uh, side pieces mounted on for the box here, and then I'll get it inside the sausage section. Get it mounted, and we'll see what it looks like. And when I get that far, I'll come back and show you what it's what it is. Until then, be right back. Okay, guys, here it is. Got it all done, mounted. Now I just got to do it now is put it in the saucer section. I've got it, the uh, resistors soldered on. The uh, 470 ohm, one quarter watt resistors. Uh, time to red five millimeter uh, LEDs. I do have the LEDs uh, sanded, so that way it'll uh, send more of a light out all the way in all directions instead of like just out the tip. It'll give it more of a glow inside the uh, impulse engines. I wanted to show it to you before I put it inside the ship. Next time you see it, it'll be in uh, mounted and light blocked from the back and everything, so nothing leak into the saucer section in the ship and uh, you'll see it. I'll be right back with that. Alright everyone, back. Um, did some more work on it. Um, I got it mounted in, it's drying right now. Um, I've got it held in with like a little, little uh, pliers kind of like to hold it in place under the paper towel here. But I've got everything all mounted. This piece, the outer piece for the impulse engine is not mounted yet because I still have to tint these here and put the photo inch parts on them as well. Uh, but I'll show you what it looks like with the power on. And we'll zoom in. Oh, wrong way. Like I said that piece is just dry fitted on there, so that's why there's light leaks all around it. And everything, and like I said, it's not tinted again, so it's kind of over, pretty bright. Oh, move in here. There we go. All in all, it's turned out pretty good with the red. I might do a little experiment by putting some uh, um, amber color on the, or yellow on the lenses so that the red and the yellow would be kind of making like an orange look to it. Let's we'll see what that looks like. Kind of toy around with it a little bit. And then I'll show you the final product when it's completely done. And the saucer section is all actually mounted. So Until then, just uh, keep doing what you do best. Keep building the models. Have fun doing it, and uh, like and subscribe my YouTube channel. Be greatly appreciated. And if you have any questions or anything, just leave me in, leave them in the comments, and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching.